face, you've got pincers with HD cameras sticking, you know, about this far away from your face, and you have to transcend all of that and, and give a performance and believe it, you know? So it was challenging in certain ways. Thank you. Yes, I'm picking her. <laughs> Sorry. You're next. Jennifer Smart from Jenny Radio and All Star Planet. Mr. Carey, first you did The Grinch and now Scrooge. What attracts you to projects like this? I hate Christmas. <laughs> they had to find one guy that hated the holiday. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I think uh, <laughs> it is odd that I've, 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 I've ended up playing these two iconic Christmas haters. Um, but I think it's kind of the same story in a way. It really is. Uh, it, I think, uh, you know, Scrooge is the original Grinch, and, uh, and so I think I'm perfectly suited because I have had some dark Christmases, you know, where I wasn't so happy about everything. And, uh, of course, I've had some of the greatest ever as well with my family. Or they're really nuts. So, uh, so I have a lot of fun. But I understand that feeling of, of isolation and of, of uh, you know, I don't know, just uh, feeling like you're not good enough. You don't want to be seen because people think you're, will think you're broken. And so rather than be seen as broken, you lash out and try to get them to concentrate on themselves. You, know? you blame the world instead of yourself. You know? So I understand that character. You know? That's a tough act to follow, but I'll try. Um, your interest in trains. Did you have an interest in trains when you were a kid? Myself? Yeah. Well, I, I, I went on a great train trip. Uh, I think I, w I must have been about seven years old or something. I went on a fantastic train trip with my mom. We went up north to Sudbury, Ontario. Uh, and I believe it was for a funeral. There's a happy thought. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, but I had the best time of my life on that train. And we were playing bingo. And I was drawing pictures and passing them around the train, making cartoons. And everybody was saying, ooh, what a smart boy, and all of that. <laughs> And I just had the greatest time of my life on that trip. And uh, so I guess they have a, a special place for me. And, uh, you know, I mean, this is what I'm getting for Christmas. <laughs> this is my model train. It's great. Really realistic. I do. What's the greatest and worst memory you have about Christmas? Gosh. Uh, well. Well, <clears throat> I mean, I have so many wonderful memories of Christmas. Christmas was really where I started coming into my own as a performer uh, because I did all this stuff on my own, all this performing on my own, and when other kids were outside playing, I was, I was in my room you know, conjuring characters and impressions and things like that. And, and uh, it, it came to fruition, it all came together on the Christmas holidays when everybody would come over to our house, all, houses, all the, uh, the relatives and neighbors and everybody would storm our house because it was the Jim Carrey show. You know, and I was a little kid, but I would throw myself down stairways and do all kinds of characters, and, and I was really popular. That's how I first got popular within my family. And uh, <laughs> it's funny, I needed to get popular within my family. <laughs> That's really the test. Uh, but, you know, that, that was important to me. Uh, as far as the worst memory, uh, I don't have a really bad Christmas memory, but I did have somebody very close to me uh, that... I got a call one day uh, telling me that this person had passed away. And, I, uh, and this was just before I took this job. And I, I got this terrible phone call, and I was totally distraught. I was really ruined by it because I felt like I hadn't been involved in her life enough. And, uh, and then I got a call 10 minutes later to tell me that it, it wasn't true, that it was just a rumor. And, uh, and I went, wow, that's the ghost of Christmas future. I, I just had an opportunity, without actually having to experience it, uh, of what it might be like to lose this person. And, and it made me much more involved in their life. Hmm? No, I can't say who was that person. They wouldn't want me to say who it was. But Back in the corner, Mickey's. Uh, 